Hello, and today I'm going to talk about what you can do if you live in a motorhome and uh, under lockdown, where can you go? This is a big problem for many people in vans. And uh, for example, I've just been reading in the Yorkshire Post about a mother and daughter who uh, decided they were going to travel around Europe in their motorhome and put all their stuff in the short storage and now suddenly they find themselves in a situation where they have nowhere to go and now one of the suggestions uh, that came to my mind uh, uh, in situations such as this is that perhaps um, there are many people who have uh, lawns, drives, uh, whatever where they could actually accommodate motorhome tourists so if you're a motorhome yourself you might say well I live in wherever you live in and if there's anybody who is stranded maybe they could come and stay with me now I do appreciate that uh, in view of the fact that uh, those of us who uh, move around uh, do tend to find ourselves in um, unusual uh, places and we come into contact with lots of people and therefore people may not be so willing to do it. Now uh, I've noticed from reading the press in the UK, in fact in the Scottish Parliament there was somebody who said that it won't have people uh, fleeing from coronavirus and then going uh, into the highlands to sort of live there. So um, they, they put a stop to that and the police in the UK are using drones to, to stop people uh, moving around in their vehicles and trying to go somewhere. Um, I've been fortunate enough, I came to a, um, a campsite and uh, I'm still there. I've been here now for three and a half weeks and um, okay, I can maybe I'm lucky because I'm the countryside and I can walk around and there's uh, no, one, no one around really. I mean, I really, my heart goes out to those of you in, in the cities who you, you really are genuinely under complete uh, lockdown, so to speak. So that was one idea. If anybody likes the idea I've uh, got that uh, giving the, the lawn or something like that, maybe some hookup, uh, you know, people offer me this all the time. I said, if you're going to be passing through wherever, then come and you can stop at, you can stop at my place. And uh, so um, maybe in these circumstances, there are people in that situation. Unfortunately, I've got nowhere to offer uh, uh, to, to start the, the ball rolling. But if you can offer somebody somewhere, please just write it down below. And if you're looking, and if you're stranded yourself, write it down below where you are approximately. And maybe you, you two of you can get in contact like that. Also, there's other people uh, with uh, motorhome and van life um, websites and um, forum and... Um, YouTube sites, YouTube channels. So maybe they could also try doing something similar. So that is my suggestion. The thing is this, you've got to stop moving. And uh, one thing I thought when I, I, I came into Poland um, what, three and a half weeks ago now, I thought just before the lockdown here, the borders were closed. I didn't know the borders were going to close. In fact, a friend of mine suggested it and I thought she was just being totally ridiculous. Um, but um, I thought, oh, it doesn't matter, I'll just travel around in my van. And then I, re I realised that would have been totally irresponsible uh, of me, uh, and therefore the thing to do is to stay put. And anyway, good, there's one or two ideas. If anybody isn't able to look after anyone else, um, uh, give them somewhere when they're, whilst they're in quarantine, so to speak, then please do uh, make your offers. Thanks for listening.